Hey guys, welcome back to another review. Since you know it's Christmas time, so I figured uh, this will be my last video of Christmas season. I just was not not up for filming much reviews this uh, this year because well I've been busy, uh, especially around this time of year. All right, so the, um, this is a <clears throat> so today I am reviewing for my sp Christmas special. I am reviewing Happy. A, a, yeah, this is a TV show. It came out and aired in 2017 uh, to 2019, sadly. Uh, it stars Christopher Maloney and Patton Oswalt and a bunch more, but no, those are the two ma major actors in the movie. I mean, the show. I don't review much. Sorry, notification. I don't review much TV shows. So, so this is uh, different for me. Alright, so the show's premise is about this ex-alcoholic hitman. No, he's an ex-hitman, ex-cop, who's also an alcoholic. Uh, he's strained from his daughter and his, um, his ex. So his daughter is kidnapped by a creepy Santa, which is why I'm reviewing it around Christmas time, because the first season takes place around Christmas time. Um, and... Um, so yeah, yeah, his daughter's kidnapped, and so her imaginary friend Happy finds um uh, f uh, finds um the father Nick Sachs is his name, and now they're trying to find her and get her back while you know these really dangerous people are after him. Um, so so what did I think of the show, season one mainly? I love it. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's very insane. Like, this show is nuts. Um, you may think, like, looking, taking a glance at any images of this of this show, you might just think that's maybe a little weird for you. And it's not for everybody, but I personally loved it. It's um, strange, hilarious, violent, and you name it. It's right up my alley. Um, the performances, let's talk about what I liked. The performances are all really good. Christopher Maloney as the main actor, as Nick Sex, is really, really good in this um, in the show. Patton Oswalt as the voice of Happy is incredible. Made me view Ratatouille on a whole different note. <laughs> um, so, um, and then there's this other actor who plays a character named Smoothie. He is one of the villains. He gives a wonderfully psychotic performance. He's great. <laughs> um, all the child actors are surprisingly... Sorry, gotta get had to get something done. All the child actors are surprisingly really good too. Um, the direction of the action scenes are also really good. Um, I thought they were gonna be a little, you know, quick cut shaky, but they're not. You actually see all of it, and it's wonderful. <laughs> um, the show gets really violent too. Like, uh, I mean, I expected it, you know, to get violent since it's from the same guy who did Crank and front. Uh, so. You know, you expect some, this movie to get a little vicious at times. I haven't seen Crank, but I've heard some that it gets, that at least the second one gets pretty nasty. Um, but I haven't seen neither of them. With that in mind, I knew this show was going to be pretty violent, and it, and it is. Season one is extremely bloody. Um, gloriously, though. It's, it's, it's freaking funny. <laughs> That's also another thing. The show is hilarious. It's not for everyone, obviously, but I kind of like weird stuff, so it's why I watched the show in the first place, because as a writer, I, I write my own, you know, story sometimes. Basically, all my stories, all the stories I write are basically like this. Uh, not all of them, most of them are, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I... This is a personal favorite show of mine. I do not know why. Just, it hit all the right notes. Um, what else? Uh, when it comes to fav um, favorite episodes of uh, of the show, I'd say my favorite episode probably is either the, f the first two and the last episode. The last episode is probably the best. Um, it got surprisingly intense at parts. Uh, there are, the stakes are pretty high for a show like this, and as it goes on, you're, it, it gets 
weirder like already the imaginary friend being real which by the way the cgi while noticeable is not awful i am this the cg you could tell it's cg but it's purposefully cartoony so you could tell it's clearly cgi but it's not really meant to look real so therefore i give it a pass but already the imaginary friend thing is already strange but it gets weirder <laughs> like like then it starts going into some strange cult or something where i don't want to spoil it but it's really weird <laughs> it's like some strange cults uh, um under this like really famous children's sh show guy um building it's really weird yeah oh boy and then there's all this like and then you get introduced to voodoo later and it's all just like what's going on anymore <laughs> And the uh, evil imaginary friends. It just gets be insane, but in a good way. Uh, it's not overbearingly insane, like it will later get get in season two, which I'll talk about. I'll review around Easter time, since that's Easter. Um, but uh, this one kept it relatively simple. The uh, Season two gets, gets very complicated, but season one stays relatively simple. Um... So, yeah. Uh, when it comes to favorite episodes, like I said, last one probably is my favorite. Uh, there's probably some other ones there, but I don't remember all all of the episodes. It's like... Uh, so, yeah. All right, now let's talk about things that didn't work. Uh, there are a few. This is no... Despite how much I enjoyed it, There is this is no flawless show. Um, it has some issues. Um, one thing is for sure is, like I said, the CGI very noticeable in parts, uh, where you can tell this is clearly a TV show. And while it ha well, the CGI looks better than other shows like The Flash, it definitely you could definitely tell that it's that they're CGI, that it is CGI. Uh, also, there are some episodes that really drag. Like some storylines are nowhere near as interesting as others. Uh, they keep cutting back to this this guy whose sister is like voodoo or magic or something, and I just didn't care. I just <laughs> there are a lot of subplots in the show, and a lot of them I I did not care about. <laughs> um, um, I mainly just only cared about the main plot about Nick Sachs finding his daughter. That's the only plot I really cared about. Uh, there are a lot of moments. You know, there are a few uh, other episodes with that do not follow that plot that are pretty good. Uh, like, Nick and Happy get separated at one point, and it's actually really well done. Um, Happy also has a good arc, a good character arc, too. How he thinks, like, everything is, like, you know... I don't think I clarified, but Happy is the imaginary friend. So, I don't think I clarified that, but I am now. Uh, he thinks, like, the whole world's, like, everything is all happy, and Nick Sex thinks the whole world is just crap, so, you know, there's a good contrast there. Then their chemistry is excellent, but we're talking about negatives. We're talking about negatives, not positives. Uh, there's one episode, I think it was episode four, that really dragged, and in my opinion, it was probably the worst episode of season one. Um, I didn't find, like I said, I didn't find all the subplots interesting. All, most, main, the main core story is the only one I really cared about. I, I really wish everything else was more, you know, int as interesting, but it really wasn't because it was mostly just conversations and not much insane stuff like the show promises. And there is a lot of that, but you don't really get it as much as I thought it, as, as you might want. All right, so let's conclude this. I've been going on a while. So... Uh, Happy is a great show. It's not a masterpiece. It's no, it's not flawless. Uh, but it's really enjoyable. It's funny, you know, insane. Uh, it was right up my alley. That's why I watched it in the first place. So I'm going to give Happy an A minus and is a, definitely a must see if you're into this kind of stuff. So, so if you've seen season one of Happy, what did you think of it? And if you like this review, give it a like. I'll see you guys next time. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You know, stay safe.